Breaking news out of Baghdad and Iraq's president, Barham Saleh, has just named Adnan Zurfi as the new Iraqi prime minister. Zurfi has been tasked with forming a government within 30 days as the country tries to overcome months of political deadlock. More on this with Simona Fulton uh, in Baghdad. Take us through, well, who this new prime minister is and what he needs to get done. Well, President Barham Saleh has made an unprecedented step choosing uh, Adnan Zurfi as prime minister designate without the consultation of the political parties in parliament. This is a quite vague area as far as the constitution is concerned because what the constitution says is that the pro president should uh, nominate somebody who is chosen by the biggest bloc in parliament. But if that person uh, does not get, uh, does, is not able to form a government, the president then chooses another nominee. Now, it is not clear if that other nominee can be chosen by the president directly or if that nominee still needs to come from the political parties. And what we've seen here in Iraq over the past months is that the political blocs have been <clears throat> excuse me, unable to come up uh, with a name uh, that gets widespread support from both the political side but also from the streets. Now, Adnan Zulfi, he is currently a member of parliament as part of the Nasser alliance. This is a party that is headed by uh, the previous prime minister, Haid al-Abadi. He's also somebody who served as the governor of Najaf uh, in 2004, at that time under uh, the U.S. Uh, administration led by Paul Bremer. So he's somebody who is seen as having pretty close ties with the West and with the U.S. specifically. And as a result of that, many of the political parties in parliament are likely to reject him. We've already heard statements from some of the parties yesterday and today. Uh, one of uh, the uh, political blocs led by former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki said that they will not accept any nominee who does not have the support from the political parties. We've also heard from Kais Khazali, who is uh, a part of the Fatah bloc, which is uh, probably the biggest bloc in parliament at the moment. And he said that uh, given the crisis that is going on in Iraq with the protests, we have uh, rocket attacks that are ongoing but also the coronavirus, there should be a state of emergency that is declared and the caretaker Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi should remain in the caretaker role until the foreseeable future. So it appears that uh, at least among uh, many of these Shia parties there is a lack of support for Adnan Zurfi. Uh, it remains to be seen what the Kurds and the Sunnis uh, will say. They have not yet come out to voice their opinion. Uh, but for now, Adnan and Zulfi will have 30 days to form a, a, a cabinet, and that cabinet then has to be voted on in parliament. But given the statements that we've already heard come out from these various political parties, it's questionable whether he can secure that support. And with that, uh, this political succession crisis that we've seen in Iraq for months now is likely to continue. Simona, full team with that update from Baghdad. Thank you.